up on a great coach, you know, Coach Woody, and I love him to death. You know, mm-hmm. still should be the coach there, in my opinion. You know, what I'm saying, mm. <laughs> uh, you know, he's like a, a coach, a father figure. He just all of the above for me. You know, what I'm saying, just having that relationship with him for years, and like that coaching staff was amazing. You know, Woody was great. Woody, he was just, you know, he was a coach that understood. You know, he gave us the freedom, but at the same time, like, he he let us know he was in charge. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it got times we have battles, at times we have our disagreements, you know, as players and as coaches, but at the end of the day, we respected him. And I think a lot of that is missing in the game nowadays that, you know, sometimes these young guys don't respect their coaches. Mm-hmm. And that's, 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 that's not a good thing, man. You know, you got these old school coaches who are starting to leave the game and retiring or, you know, going into the front office and, you know, the young coaches are coming in and it's like, it's like, you know, like I, I miss those days when a coach would get on you and you would take it. You know, I've seen Greg Popovich, I mean, get on Tim Duncan like, like he was, yeah. a, like he was nobody. You know what I'm saying? This is Tim Duncan. You know what I'm saying? I've seen that with my own eyes and that's how it should be. And every player should take it and know that it's coming from a good place. It ain't coming from, I'm trying to disrespect you, I'm trying to embarrass you, it's coming on, I'm trying to get the best out of you. And that's how I always took it. You know, I think that's something that's that's starting to leave the game now, man. It's, 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 it's missed, for real. Do you feel like you would pick Woody over Atkinson, or how do you feel like you compared it to? Oh, man, man, see, that's, that's, that's a tough question. <laughs> that's, a tough, that's a tough question to answer because, you know, I got a relationship with both of them. You know what right. I'm saying? I got a relationship with both of them, so I'll, like, I wouldn't want to say I like one coach better than the other. All right, so you can tell us what you like about either one. But I've never played for Coach Atkinson, so I, I can't, if I got to give the upper hand, I'm going to give it to Coach Woody, you know what I'm saying? Because mm. I've played for him, I've, I've, I've been in the locker room with him, I've been in battles with him, you know what I'm saying? So I I know him in a, in a, in a better way than I do Coach Atkinson as a head coach. But I know Coach Atkinson, he's a great coach. I won't take nothing from him, and he deserves a head coaching job. I will say right. that. You know what I'm saying? But if I had to choose a coach, then I'm I'm a I'm gonna choose Coach Woody for sure. All right, you you heard that here first, Knicks fans. All right. He's putting his hat <laughs> in the ring for Mike exactly. Woodson. <laughs> this is the debate. This is the debate that's going on within the chat for the last few weeks. So that's why you asked me that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Coach Woody, he's just an old school coach who going who who know how to change with the times. And that's what I love about Coach Woody. He's mm-hmm. like, Interesting. He's so he still knows how to change with time with the young guys. And you know, sometimes that's what you need. <laughs>